welcome to the Plant Farm It YouTube channel. Grow cauliflower where you have not grown related crops such as cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, collards, kale, mustard, turnip, rutabaga for the past four years. For spring planted cauliflower, start seeds indoors in April. For the fall crop, start seeds in July indoors or direct seeded in the garden. Grow in rich, moist soil without drought stress. Plant white cauliflower. Green, orange and purple types need sunlight to develop color. The dense, mounted head of cauliflower is the curd. The curd is the flowering stalk of the plant. The edible stages before the flowers open, dense, flavorful curds grow in cool temperatures between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Some varieties are good for spring planting, grown quickly and producing curds before hot summer weather sets in. Most types are best as a mid-summer planting for fall harvest. Warm weather during growth of the leafy portion of the plant helps beat a large plant, leading to a larger head. Pointy green Romanesco cauliflower is a fall crop. Cauliflower is the same species as broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts and turnip and has many similar needs for good gardening performance. For the best quality cauliflower, grow it in rich, moist soil without drought stress. Have your soil tested. Grow cauliflower in bulk drain yet moist retentive fertile soil with pH of 6 to 7. A good cauliflower crop needs this ideal garden soil. Apply phosphorus and potassium according to the soil test recommendations. It is not worth growing cauliflower unless the plants absorb water and nutrients steadily during their growth. Improve your soil by adding well-rooted manure or compost in spring or fall. Do not use fresh manure as it might contain harmful bacteria and increase weed problems. If you use manure or compost, you might need more fertilizer application, depending on how much organic matter you use. Side dress when the plants are about 4 inches tall. Do not use any fertilizer containing a weed killer as it might kill the vegetable plants. For spring planted cauliflower, it is best to plant in early to mid April. Choose a variety with heat tolerance in the short growth cycle 50 to 60 days to harvest. Snow crop is one of the best for spring growth. For the fall crop, star seeds indoors or direct seed in the garden in early to late July. Whether you plant in spring or summer, crop cover will protect the plants from wind and insects during the first weeks of growth. In spring, use a cover material that will give protection against cold. In summer, use a lightweight material so the temperatures do not get too hot under the cover. If strong winds loosen a floating row cover, it can do more damage than the plants will suffer without it. Be sure to anchor it firmly with soil and or pins at the edges. Alternatively, support the row cover with wire hoops, forming a low tool. sterile soil seedlings mix and press the seeds 1 4 to 1 half inch deep. Seeds should germinate in about 2 weeks. Turn on bright ground lights above them once the seedlings emerge. Apply fertilizer to develop seedlings beginning when the first true leaf appears. Use a half strength starter solution once a week. After two true leaves are present, apply fertilizer twice a week. When the plants have two or five true leaves, after about four weeks, begin hardening them off so that they will adapt well when transplanted outdoors. Reduce watering. Place plants outside where they will receive wind protection and a couple hours of sunlight. Dig small holes with a trowel or dig a narrow trench with a shovel. 
place the seedlings 18 inches apart. Fill the soil around them so that the plant is at the same level as it was in its pot. Cauliflower needs good soil moisture. To produce hard, solid, rich flavored hands, the plants not experience water stress. If the plants do not receive consistent rainfall or irrigation, they will have poor texture and might develop strong off flavors. If the planting does not receive one inch of rain each week, soak the soil thoroughly at least once a week. If your soil is sandy, it is important to water more often than once a week. An inch of water will wet a sandy soil to a depth of 10 inches, a heavy clay soil to a depth of 6 inches. Use a travel to see how far down the soil is wet. If it is only an inch or two, keep the water running. Frequent shallow cultivation with a hoe or other tool will kill weeds before they become a problem. Hoe just deeply enough to cut the weeds off below the surface of the soil. Be careful not to damage the plants when cultivating. Mulching with herbicide-free grass clippings, weed-free straw or other organic material to a depth of 3 to 4 inches can help prevent weed growth, decreasing the need for frequent cultivation. Promote the color of white cauliflower. Watch for the head to begin forming. Once it is visible, gather the outer leaves and tie them together over the head with string or rubber bands. This will keep the bird's white color or blanch as they grow in a shaded environment. There are self blanching varieties available that do not require you to tie the leaves. They will still produce a white curd. Do not tie leaves of colored orange, green, purple or romanesco type cauliflower. Full color will not develop on these steps without sunshine on the curds. Harvest cauliflower when heads reach usable size. Before the flower buds open, cut the head above ground level and remove the leaves wrapped around the head. If you leave curds on the plant for too long, they will become loose, especially in spring plantings. Colder fall weather helps the later crop hold its quality in the field. Cauliflower will keep for about one week in the refrigerator. Even in a colder, moist condition, it will not keep more than three weeks. Preserve a big harvest by freezing cauliflower. You can also pick a cauliflower in a mix of vegetables. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and click on the bell button to be notified on the similar upcoming videos. Plant Farm Eat is a platform for healthy culture and environmental enthusiasts, helping you maximize your time and efforts and provide you with pragmatic guides on how to plant, farm and eat sustainably.